Well, let's go everybody. This is Patrick Minton Outdoors. We're gonna roll into that intro and we're gonna talk about what we're doing. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. We're hitting the road. We're doing a overnighter tonight at Bandy Creek Campground. But I'm not going to touch interstate until tomorrow coming back home. So what I've done is I've set my GPS up to go nothing but highways and two lanes all the way there. We're gonna go through some small towns. If I see something of interest, we'll stop, we'll check it out, video it. It's all gonna be on this video. Um, but we're gonna camp out tonight, Bandit Creek Campground. Yes, bear could be a possibility because there are bear at Big South Fork. Arr. Um Another cool note is they're expecting frost tonight. This will be probably the earliest frost this early in the fall that I can ever remember. Um, I mean, here it is, October, whatever date that is, 8th. And they're predicting frost. And from where I live, all the way to where I'm going to be staying. So, that means it's going to get cold tonight. But I've got everything with me. I've got my buddy heater to go in the tent. And I've got my Outlander fire pit that we will fire up later. Because I'm really shocked. Because it's been 20, I think I said 20 something days since we've had any rain. And it's dry. It's really dry. And I'm really shocked they haven't come out and said fire ban. Um, which would mean you wouldn't be able to build a campfire if you wanted to. So I'm going to take the extra precautions because it is so dry. I know it's dry there too. Uh, and I'm going to use my uh, fire bowl tonight for heat outside. Hang around it for a little while. Uh, the coolest thing is I can turn it off and go to bed. So uh, that's what I like about it. Turn it off and go to bed. Don't have to worry about it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to shut up for now. Play you some nice road scenery because we're going to get in some nice road scenery here in a little bit. And uh, we'll pick this video back up if we find something pretty cool in the way.
I'm now in Hartsville on my way to Bandy Creek Campground for the night. And I've come across something. We're going to run across the street. I'm going to do a lot of video with the GoPro, but I'm going to do a lot of photography with the camera. But uh, really neat, uh, I'm going to turn where you can see it. Really neat little main street behind me. You know, your typical small town that we don't get to see a lot because we take the interstate. So let's walk over here and check this out. I think it's the old courthouse. Let's go see. Pretty neat. So you can tell it's definitely old. So let's go find out. So I was correct. This is across the street is the battle or the Hartsville Courthouse. Beautiful old courthouse. Uh, I got a picture over there from way back when. But then here's their wall for killed in action for all the different uh there's world war one two korea vietnam so this is pretty neat too sitting right here like i said you would miss this if you were on the interstate you wouldn't see this stuff so i have seen all this i do want to snap another picture of the courthouse from afar and then uh we're going to get back on the road all right um all the coffee and uh water i've drank so far had to be released on parole um found a little market right here i'm actually in macon county now from trousdale county um you gotta love it pulled up the little market got out and you can tell where you are you tell you can tell you're deep in Tennessee. Head south on Days Road toward Highway 52 East, then turn left onto Highway 52 East. She has to talk. Um, but I pulled up and got out of the car, or truck, and the football game's on. Turn University of Tennessee on football game is on and loud. Continue on <laughs> 52 so, East for miles. that was pretty cool. You can tell you're in the heart of Tennessee when you hear that. And it just, I don't know, it's something about it. But uh, anyway, so we are in Lafayette, uh, Macon County, where, you know, already left Trialsdale and saw the courthouse and everything, which was pretty cool. The downside to the old courthouse is they're going away uh, to municipal buildings and stuff like that. Let's get everything under one roof type thing, which, you know, I understand. I get it. Uh, you can update stuff a lot easier, per se, infrastructure-wise. I get it, but it's sad to see the old courthouses fading away. If you know they can't get them on to um, registries and stuff to save them, turn them into something else at least. So, anyway, uh, next cool thing we come across, bring you back. Okay, guys, we haven't run into anything significant looking shall we say um i did at one point past del hollow lake but you couldn't see it from where i was and i'm looking at my time frame and i'm i want to get to camp in time to have plenty of daylight to get set up now it's the time of the year six o'clock hour it starts getting dark and according to my time because i actually will lose an hour i'll be there at four ish yeah, right at four. So that gives me two hours uh, to set up camp, which I shouldn't take that long, but I want to get there and have plenty of time, get everything set up. I got something else I want to shoot. Would love to be able to get it done today while I'm there, while I'm camping. But uh, outside of <laughs> the one of the sketchiest sections of road I've ever been on outside of some things up in the Smokies area, um, that was the sketchiest road I've ever been on. When you have a guardrail on your one side, the side you're on, and it feels like the road the whole time is trying to pitch you into that guardrail. Well, you know, you just, it's kind of sketchy there. I mean, I almost turned the radio off to see if I could hear the tire scraping the guardrail because it was, I mean, it was, it was tight. It was tight. This has been probably one of the smallest or tightest roads I've been on yet um, good driving road I mean but man you've got some blind curves and serious S curves I mean a sports car is be fun and the 
until that deer ran out in front of you at 80 miles an hour, then they're, you know, pulling deer carcass out of your lungs and stuff. But anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna, look at this, look at this. I mean, this is, this is pretty. I mean, this is a pretty road, but you gotta pay attention. I, that's why I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm just, um, Pay attention to the road. But you talk about, man, you wouldn't want uh, Herbert to come around on your side of the road. You'd die. <laughs> but anyways, um, yep, I'll pick this back up, I think, here in a little bit when I get to camp, unless something else pops up. But uh, it's been a real pretty scenic drive. It's a shame that we're kind of in that drought almost drought situation um, because I think our fall colors are not going to be as vibrant as they could be. This road is getting nuts. Um, wow. Alright. I'll be back when I get to camp. Okay guys, we have made it to Bandy Creek Campground. Um, I've already figured out how I'm going to lay out my site. I'm going to put my tent basically right there. Of course, kitchen prep, all that will be right there. Won't be using that. Don't really need that, nor that. Uh, probably set my fire bowl up right here. Yeah, probably set it up right about here. But we're here. We're camping tonight. Um, I'm going to get the truck unloaded. Actually, I'm going to eat a snack real quick because I hadn't had anything since breakfast this morning. And I'm getting pretty hungry. Um, also, once again, here I go. I forgot I would lose an hour coming up here. Yep. So the whole time I've been, it's like, it's already done it. It's already done it says it's 422 which in all honesty is 322 at home so that was what was throwing me off i forgot there was an hour's difference and i don't know where the line is where i cross it but i must be just in enough to it happened so i'm not gonna do anything else i'm not gonna do any time lasts but here's here's my campus spot and i've got this open field which i got a feeling in the morning or later could be full of deer who knows uh there is a trail going down through there see that there's i see the trail so it's probably part of the campground itself um but we are in national forest so with that said i have to either keep my stuff food wise locked up smellables in the truck or i have to put it in the food storage only so what I'll do is I'll keep it in the truck. That's the way I did last when I was in the Smokies. So we should be good. But uh, anyway, it is cool. It's really cool here. Um, hang on. It is 60 degrees right now. So it's actually it warmed up a little bit. 60 degrees, but I have good tree cover. Except for right here, this is kind of open. So if it does frost tonight um well i might get it but uh yeah there we go so i'm gonna stop talking right now i'm gonna get everything set up eat a little snack and then bring you back all right guys camp is set up for the most part there's the tent sun setting in the east i mean the west so it's behind the tent so that means in the morning She'll be rising back there, so I'll get sun first thing in the morning. Awesome. So if there is any frost, it'll melt it off. Fire pit going. Canister over there. Fire pit. And I can feel the heat coming off, I think. I'm just warming up. Well, I'm not warming up a little bit. I'm just sitting down wanting a little bit of fire. That's the cool thing about this. I can turn it off. Turn it back on when I want it. So... I am resting for a minute because I hadn't stopped since I pulled in the driveway. Uh, I've got everything set up as far as camp goes, as far as tent goes. 
I haven't got the cot. I mean, I've got the cot put up, but I don't have bedding, everything I pulled out. I'll leave it until I get time to go to bed. I may go to bed early because I had a late night and early morning this morning, so I may sleep in in the morning, doubtful. But it is here. It is 521, so that's 421 at home. Um, I'll probably cook supper here in a little bit. I've got, what? Shoot, I got, man, I got well over two hours before the sun goes down. Home has been going down a lot sooner. Let me look at something. Okay, so I just checked uh, the weather for here. It's supposed to go down to 31 tonight. It's all right. I got the good sleeping bag with me. <sighs> Brought the bunny heater, but I forgot to bring the pan it sits on while it's on. Now, I asked myself, do I risk it for the biscuit to have the heat in the tent and say to hell with it and use it anyway? Or... Man up, just go without. All right, guys. So, I'm, like I said, I'm making a quick, easy meal tonight. Got my pan. I'm going to put on the stove top. I'm gonna just going to heat up some chili. There it goes. I'm even going to eat out of the pan once the chili's warmed up. Spores are in. Um, let's go. I'm just going to heat it up real quick. Um, as you can see, I'm doing here. But uh, I'll have to talk about this table some other time, too. Because uh, this has been kind of a godsend. Um, if you'll notice, it's at my height. So the other thing is, it's metal. So I can set hot stuff right on it look it doesn't melt so that's pretty cool um, just using my Burton nonstick pan when I get done I'll take it up to the bathhouse wash everything throw away my trash we're done we're done and that that's what I want I want plain simple fast type stuff but then I've got the table to cook with I can do major stuff. I've only got my single burner with me tonight. It's all I need. It's all I need. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this shredded cheese here, sprinkle it on top, and, well, it's gourmet. <laughs> so, that's it. That's my whole purpose behind the quick meals. So, and that's done. Just had to heat it up a little bit. And like I said, after um, I get through eating, I'll run everything up. I'll throw the trash in the bear bin up there and uh, wash the pot. Call it golden. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese in here. I got some uh, Red's crackers. I'm gonna eat with this. Coke. That's it. That simple. All right, guys. We'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm in the tent for the night. Um, it's like 10 o'clock. But I'm gonna watch a couple more YouTube videos. Maybe yours. And I'm going to bed. I'll turn this off before I go to bed. I've got my cookie sheet so I can sit on the floor. So I've got it sitting on my table. You know, it is what it is. Warming up the tent a little bit. But I won't use it that much. I mean, I'll turn it off before I go to sleep. Or before I get in bed. Um, but just change clothes and stuff. But beautiful night. Beautiful night. It's going to get chilly. It's going to get chilly, but I got my good sleeping bag, my warm one with me, and um, good to go. So, awesome day. Um, I can't complain about it. It's been great. Did shoot another video while I was here. May try to shoot another one tomorrow if I get all my ducks in a row in time. 
but uh, I got some special stuff on the way home we're going to do too, so stay tuned for that. Right now I'm going to go to sleep. It's, I've had a long 24 hours. I went to bed last night at 1-ish and was up at 5.36 o'clock. I think it was right at 6 when I finally got up. So I'm tired. Because I've been driving all day, set up camp, did all that, run, 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 bang, bang, boom. Set up camp and all that stuff, so I'm done. I'm ready for bed. But I'm going to get my bed clothes on and see you in the morning.